The Rancor's Brothel presents... A Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Out of Out the of abyss. abyss. So the foaming mud. <laughs> I hear it's in a residential place. It's south. South. Southwest of it. I was turning off Mario. Yep. You went down through residential areas. You passed an area that looked like it had standing stones in it. And you made your way down to the foaming mud. Similar to the rock garden standing stones or? Much more cut. Okay. But we're not seeing any of those, uh, or those giants, those, uh. Stone giants? Yeah. No. All right. Not there weren't stone giants. You mean earth elemental. elementals? No, no. No, the stone giants from Grackleston. Okay. Are we seeing anybody who is not a deep gnome? Nope. Every once in a while, you'll see an earth elemental or a zorn or okay. What are the earth like elementals? What's a zorn? A zorn is a is another elemental creature. Okay. What are the earth elementals doing? Like, are they? Do they seem like they're guarding the place? Are they hard labor? Oh, okay. Also, some minor bureaucratic paperwork. Yeah. You have to. It's mandated by the state. Yeah, like inspections, like, <laughs> like residency requirements. Oompa, loompa, doompa, dee, do. I have another form to do. Stamping. He's on the verge of a breakthrough here. <laughs> He's trying to come up with a Willy Wonka. Gummy bears now. <laughs> <laughs> this is me normally. This is why I don't eat gummy bears. He's yes. trying to come up with it with a Willy Wonka joke, like the yeah, everlasting, no. like the I'm everlasting for like a Johnny Depp, like the everlasting gut stubber stabber. Michael Jordan is Michael Jordan. Please continue. <laughs> no, I was trying to work on one for Gene Wilder, but <laughs> <laughs> Sheen Wielder. Nah. Nah. No. Anyway, you guys come to the to the foaming mug. Uh, you find a you find an inn. Uh, there's a tap room downstairs uh rooms upstairs there's a gnome inside cleaning the bar it's <laughs> is anyone in this bar at this point no <laughs> i just want to feel like this one poor guy is like freaking out that he actually has guests and the only guy who got like <laughs> you would be like if we built if you built a dwarf hall or a, you know like a dwarf uh in like here in indianapolis like how many patrons do you think that would get you walk in and he looks up and he looks, he does look surprised as hell. Uh, he says, come in, come in. Uh, you're the first guests I've had in a while. Uh, looking to stay, just looking to drink. Uh, this beer sucks. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> right. right, we're uh, just passing through, but uh, might uh, sleep here for a bit. Uh, sleep in a nice warm bed as opposed to in a, on the ground, I guess. I... I can definitely do that. Uh, that'd be lovely. Uh, Tappy. Tappy. Holds out a hand. Uh, Tappy foam strap. Tappy foam strap. Mm. That sounds sexy. So there's a lot of bondage names with the deep <laughs> knowns. That's all I'm saying. Bust out the old foam strap. <laughs> it's safe, yet erotic. Mm. Pool noodle on the inside. Ape Lovecraft. Love shaft. <clears throat> foam staff foam strap strap started to write tappy. and forgot uh pleasure to meet you tappy you too uh what are you doing here i mean looking you... for a room <laughs> <laughs> I, I, i'm happy to provide them i mean i don't have too many people come in who want to pay to stay what's your price uh, low demand, <laughs> low price. I mean, I've never been asked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, they they I'm just happy you're here. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the gnomes just carve hole, holes in the wall and they make a home. <laughs> Nobody's come to the inn. But a gold piece covers all then. Uh, no. <laughs> tell me no price. I'm gonna give you a no price. <laughs> Say five gold for the lot of you. Ooh. Still not bad. It's been a lot cheaper than the Durgar charged you. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> he will take you up and show you rooms. Sure. He says the tap room stays pretty dead during the day, but after shift, it, there'll be 
people in here looking for drink. Uh, I'm sure that everybody down, everybody would love to hear where you're from, what you're doing, uh, what you've seen. You very, you very the the uh, tap room very busy then later on. The yeah. Evening. All right. This is one of the only drinking holes in the place. All right. Well, if you if you don't mind, we'll uh, get a room for us, a nice place to stay, unpack a little bit, um, have a bit to eat. I'm assuming that there's a kitchen or something. Yeah, we can. We get one meal on that at five or that five gold or what? Uh, you continental breakfast. Lovely. <laughs> Better be a waffle maker. Just saying. <laughs> it's the best thing at a hotel. No, it's just fruity pebbles because we're <laughs> underground. <laughs> it's just pebbles, dude. <laughs> and they there's paint, no fruity to them. Cereal tastes. They like just shit. paint them bright colors. <laughs> Water and rock. <laughs> Some Flintstone crap here. <laughs> I mean, you know they'll have It's just the shavings from all the spell gems. Yeah, there you go. They're magically delicious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I'd say go upstairs. I don't know about their uh, their <clears throat> bath accommodations. I don't know if that's a thing. What's that? Bath? Is there a... You could get a hot bath. Mm. Take it. There you go. Kira getting sudsy. Just Her hair all done up. Threw up in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you have to share with Morik, though. <laughs> he don't watch your back. <laughs> I'll scrub your back if you scrub mine. He's got those rough hands, it's like a soapy pumice stone. <laughs> anyway, He's fully I'm rub Morg's back with my glaive. <laughs> Why are you bathing with your glaive? That's weird. Put me in the tub with you. <laughs> <laughs> it, does the does the sword put off any heat when it's lit up? No. <laughs> Just like using jacuzzi tub. tub. Bath water. Tub. It starts bubbling. Baby, we're about to invent toast. Let's get some bread. <laughs> Yeah. You guys got anything you need to do? Anything you want to do? I don't think at the moment. I like. I'm sure we can do shopping. Like, I don't know if you need equipment or not. Try. It's been a full day travel. Like, you're coming to the end of the day. Yeah. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get to the market. A bath and a dinner sound lovely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you guys gonna hang out in the tap room? Fuck yeah. Converse. Yes. Mingle. Oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh. Try not to try not to offend anything with your wang, Matt. <laughs> you remember that happened last time, or the time before that? Yeah, they don't know I'm coming now. <laughs> <laughs> There's nobody bits. here with an evil agenda. <laughs> just, don't okay. get, just don't get bit. <laughs> you guys can see a bunch of different gnomes come and go throughout the evening. There are groups of soldiers. There are groups of workers. Uh, there are groups of, uh, like, bureaucrats. Uh, who do you want to mingle with? Well, first I want to ask Topsy and Turvey. Yes. Like, do you guys, like, plan on staying here? Uh, are you are you asking them this not in around other people? Yeah. Like, yeah. as we're getting settled in our rooms. I have every desire to get back to my family. Where's your family? Uh, they're in another part of Blindenstone. Okay. Um, is there anything we can do to assist you to getting to your family? I don't know yet. Um, you're so far like the only person that we picked up in the prison that hasn't tried to fucking kill me. <laughs> Jim Jar has not Huh? Jim Jar has not Yeah, like you three. That's it. That's because Durgar, Drow, and Quagoths are all generally assholes. Well, I know that now. <laughs> they don't really teach that in school. Even the Koto are kind of nuts. Yeah. Shushar was kind of a rarity. So, anyway, anything I can do to help, please let me know. When we came in through the gate, it looked like the main tunnel into where the where rats live has been blocked off. Hmm. Uh, huh. I need to figure out a way to get back in there. All right. Well, if you get any ideas that's something I can help with, let me know. Okay. I see a blip. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> Talked about putting a mic underneath the table for diacoustics. Just gonna pick up farts. Yeah. Would Gene Hackman work? Yes. Didn't somebody already? No, I said hack it. Ah. Buddy hack it. <laughs> yeah. We do have to go through and weed out the ones that use the same puns at some point, right. but. Well, if we just put it, make it an alphabetical order list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would that help a little bit. Right. <laughs> Need to get a secretary on this. My home is out here. I no, I'm just gonna. Straight up, uh, Vigo Mortensen just sit in the ro- corner of the room creepily and have a pint and watch. Comes in basically. Pints. Okay. Anybody else? 
You want to mingle? You want to try and hear rumors? You want to talk? You want to what? Or is this just going to be the end of the night? No, I want to... I'm looking don't to mingle. Tra- don't tell me trying to get late. No, okay. but if it comes my way, I ain't saying no. I do have a five in animal handling. <laughs> Make my way down the bar skink ladder. Um, Matt's outside having sex with a goat. <laughs> Man! Yeah. <laughs> Um. No, I'm 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 interested in the society because this is the only people that haven't tried to kill me. So I would. They haven't like learned to yet. Just talk to people, honestly. Okay. Like, uh, anybody priests coming in? High or low? Low. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Yeah, there's one priest in the whole town. Well, no, there's not one priest, but there is one that comes in. Okay. Well, I'd like to go introduce myself. Okay. Well, hey there. So how about God? <laughs> how about them deities, eh? <laughs> Heidi ho there, neighborino. Wild stuff. There is a metal band uh, <laughs> called Oh my god, what is it called? They're all they're all cosplay as Dead Flanders. I think it's oh, it's called Oakley Doakley. <laughs> yeah. And it's a fucking dark metal band. It's fucking great. Please look it up, everybody. Watch a video. So, do you have the holy symbol out and everything like that? Yep. Okay. Uh, he looks at you. Greetings, brother. Yeah. Hey. Uh, how you doing? I'm. I'm good. Uh, Glyphic Shroomlight. Ah, Morik Steelblast. Nice to meet you. Buy you a drink? Absolutely. Come Thanks. on over. Uh, what do you want to talk about? Hey, I just. I mean, how's the how's the church attendance down here? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's we we don't have the population that we once had, but right there. But a shepherd doesn't care how many sheep he's got; he's got to protect them, right? Well, it's it's not so much about the flock; it's about the we. I can't talk. Um, yeah, it's past nine forty-five. <laughs> <laughs> Glyphic is the one who oversees the Just daily. Comings and goings of the temple. Um, Say it again, too. It's Glyphic what? <clears throat> Glyphic Shroomlight. Shroomlight. He is a priest of Sagosian Earth Collar. Okay. Can you spell that? S E G O J A. Slow the f down. S E G. S E G O J A N. Earth Collar. Sagosian? I feel like the J would be a. A Y sound. Segoyan. 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 Go for a nice yog. <laughs> <laughs> that martial art you know. <laughs> I'm not mocking you. This is a whole thing that Fadre did for like a year. Well, I think yogging, I, I first heard that from Anchorman. <laughs> oh, so he stole it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean. Schroeder, text Fadre, tell him he's a c- <laughs> <laughs> Or at least a yak ass. Yeah. <laughs> yak ass. Yak <laughs> ass. <laughs> um, Glyphic is actually a fairly young cleric. Um, he's not, judging by his age, you wouldn't think he would be the one in charge of anything. <laughs> in charge of the whole operation as far as divine mm-hmm. everything goes down here. What but, do I know about Segoyan Earthcaller? Uh, one of the, one of the deep gnome gods of mining, uh, things like that. Earth caller, as in opening a portal and bringing earth elementals over. Uh, I believe so. Because I mean, I'm just following a theme here. I'm, ass- I'm assuming a giant earth elemental is going to attack somebody at some point, and nah, man, we're it's gonna the, have to fight uh, it. It's the working class rising up to eat the bourgeoisie. All these earth elementals are gonna be tired of being prisoners with jobs. Do you? I love that bourgeoisie has turned into. Bougie do you talk? Do you talk to parlance. Glyphic about that? Yeah, I don't tell him about all the crazy. You, okay, you tell him about all what crazy, and what yeah. are you talk? What are you talking to him about? Well, I'm imagining he would. Ask, I don't want to role play for you, but I'm he, imagining he would, he abs- would, ask he would me, absolutely ask you about your travels. Here? Yes, I'd be like, well, we keep having to run from these big fucking deity things, <laughs> and it's scary as shit. And I just want to leave. You know that old chestnut. <laughs> And you tell him about seeing the De- Demogorgon yeah. and all this shit. And yeah. he and I think it'd be a pretty good thing for you to be prepared. <laughs> Just a heads up. 
<laughs> you know, one brother to another. I imagine this is a, they're sitting at the bar talking and the camera slowly pans from the, the two shot just to the one shot of Matt's face. And then he's sort of like, so I just want you to be prepared. And he reaches over and the guy's just gone. <laughs> he's been gone for a while. No, uh, the camera pans back to him and he's got kind of a really disturbed look on his face like he just had a moment of dawning. <laughs> hey, what's that look mean? Insight? Did you pass um, your insight roll? Nat 20. Just Give me another card. Throw one out that, that could explain some of our problems with oozes. Ah, duplex, huh? Yeah. Oodles and oodles of oozes. Yeah, we ran across that, and I'll tell them about the temple. Yeah. Um, and what we found written on the walls and all that shit. Th- we've, we've had more and more oozes coming into the city. Where, uh, uh, do, where do they come in from the water? They they can come in through cracks in the stone. They don't they don't require a, a large entryway. <laughs> what? I don't think you meant it as a joke, but no, I didn't. I come from the water. Brown out. Shankira. Mm-hmm. See, look at you, Shankira. Yeah, I like that. I need you to step up your game, Troy Neely. <laughs> Hillary Shank. I, I was literally <laughs> just about to say that. <laughs> Hillary Shank. Oh, thank you. Took it up one. Yeah, 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 yeah. What we need to do is get the old uh, arms and equipment guide out of there and start looking at more weapons so we can do different jokes. <laughs> yeah. A lot easier. Yeah, yeah. because <laughs> yeah, like we need maces, yeah. we need cudgels, we need everything. Windu. William yeah. H. Macy. Yeah. M A C E Y. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Jubilex. Yeah. Killiam H. Macy. Back to this hole in the ozone layer. Everything's <laughs> Yeah, so, talking about Jubilex. And okay. the oozes, and they come in through the cracks, and apparently from the water. Yeah. Uh, they, they come in, they cause trouble, and they slip further into the city. Have any of them, like, spoke to you? <laughs> or any of the peoples here? We had a friend named Glabagool, uh, but I kind of forgot about him when we were fleeing. No, I've never heard of a spe- of a ooze that could speak. Right? It's fucking weird. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you use curse words? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Okay. Um, but yeah, he was, and he helped us. Like he protected us from some other oozes as we made our way. Um, so when you out say the when you say a friend named Glavagul, you mean an ooze? He was an ooze, and he was uh nice, and he spoke to all of us. He helped us out. And what color were the paint chips that you ate as a child? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> are there uh, are there uh, bar games that are occurring? Is that I'm, a deep gnome thing? I'm sure you could find something, yeah. Like darts or shuffleboard or pool or something? A weapon that deep gnomes are no- known for using are darts. So, yes, I would say you could find a game of darts. I'm going to play some darts. We start a rousing round of bar fight. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Show him how to play the lawn. Rousing round of bar fight. <laughs> to be fair, it's one of the reasons. Talk. It's one of the reasons why t- the tomb group is never allowed in a bar. You notice I've avoided that quite a bit. That's for good reason. <laughs> that would be an entire wasted session. And what when you it? when you ask Glyphic about the Earth elementals, they're they're not so much worried about summoning a screwed up elemental, but they have been worried about the the ones that they have going insane. Told you, rise up. What's insane. happening? Like how how are they going insane? There there's something further in the city. Uh, the the Stoneheart Enclave call it Ogremox Bane. No, I mean I'm sorry. Well, that is that is excellent information. Can, Can we write that down? Ogremox Bane. Stone wow, that is great information. I mean, like, how crazy are they going? Are they, like, writing on the walls and poop? Or mm-hmm. are they planning a revolution? Like, how crazy? They, they oh. turn on us and normally have to be destroyed. Sometimes, okay. Some of them have escaped further into the city. Oh. So, so you have, like, loose okay. earth elementals that are all cray-cray. Yeah. Ooh, over in, over yeah. in Rock Plate. Hmm. Rock Plate's been cut off. Uh, we, we shut the tunnels. And and still is that like what's that rock blight? Rock blight is over. He will point this way on the map. Uh, area ten is the entryway into rock blight, it's and that's where two Topsy gates. And Turvy live. No, no. And this is this 
this rock blight is something that affects the stone, or is this a just a general area name? Or rock blight is the area name. Okay, so it doesn't have anything to do with the area. That's just what they call it. Yep. Since it does conspicuously use the word blight, rock. <laughs> Trying to connect some dots. <laughs> Did you mention what this ogrim was? Ogre Mox Bane is what the Stoneheart Enclave call the force that is corrupting the Earth Elementals. Is it the same as the Fair's Rest? Is no. Is that your the, word for it or something? No, the Fair's Rest is always there. Okay. It, I know it, I know it's been stronger over towards the quarry. The, All right. <laughs> Do I know anything about Ogre Mox Bane from my religion? Uh, no. Okay. What about my stone cutting? Roll. <laughs> I, I rolled an no. 18. You rolled an 18? Uh, yeah. No, 18 you die. don't. Okay. I just wanted it to be a 1. <laughs> Cox is good 18. Okay, well then I'll continue to just chit-chat with him. Who's the next person? Roll me a charisma check, Matt. <sighs> Fuck you. I just said I was done. Pie is pie, Matt. Mm, yeah, good point. <laughs> I'll get you some. Uh, 10. Okay. That that taboo uh, priesty kind. Oh, altar boy. <laughs> no one's only 100. That's like... Pubescent and no mirrors. Hey guys, what brings you here into our town? I run the church. I am the light in the darkness. <laughs> Cody, I'm assuming you're I assume you're socializing with the soldiers. Maybe a little crummy. I mean, I I just think that if if Kira's doing anything, then um yeah. some sort of bar game is probably where she's at. Yep. With a I assume a uh, foaming mug in one hand and a dart in the other. He said the name of the thing. <laughs> ah, she's drank so much she's holding on to the wall. <laughs> Superman 4. That's for peace. Uh, Kira, make me a history check. Ooh, something I actually have a bonus in. Your first mistake. 20. You, you realize that the foaming mug, mug is probably an homage to Battlehammer. Ah, makes sense. Battlehammer. I will try and uh, burner Battlehammer. Yeah, uh, got to go. Yeah, his okay. shield was his shield had his his family crest was the foaming mug. Yeah, that's fair. I may say something to Tappy the next time he comes by or fills up a mug or something, mm-hmm. and just ask him. I love a bartender named Tappy. That's that's, the, that's, that's like a gnome thing. They all have they're just named after what they do. Yeah, kind of. I'd be social working McGee if I was a gnome. <laughs> I need to go visit he who removes general work for no professional reason. <laughs> They're not Native American names. <laughs> yeah, that's his tribal name. Like his gnome name is Wart Cutter. Like that just sounds so awful. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Troy or Lucas? <laughs> Family Doing Jewels anything? Wart Cutter. <laughs> Uh, I'm just generally scoping out the area. Um, you see deep gnomes. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm not really exploring much right here. Troy. Um, I would ask about why does it seem, I guess, or why it seems like the the city is a little more desolate than it should be. Because it was destroyed by drow. And we're, still re- we're still rebuilding. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> you know. Shit happens. <laughs> You're like an Englishman that just yeah. <laughs> sat down in East Germany and is like, huh, what happened to all these buildings, huh? No, no, no. <laughs> an Englishman that went to Ireland was like, why do all these children look like me? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yes. Really? I love potatoes. <laughs> prima nocta. It's like, prima knocked up. Hey. <laughs> Got you. I'm your hype man. Okay. Uh, Lucas and Cody make charisma checks. <laughs> Troy, make me one at disadvantage. Oh. <laughs> Hey guys, why all the frowns? Am I just doing standard charisma? Yeah. Unless you have the spicy charisma. <laughs> like a 16. I was going to say, you're the one who needs to be making these. Six. Okay. Ooh. Cool. Wait. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Not so much. Yeah, no, it, it, I'm just, did Tappy say anything about it being the foaming mug, being related to Bruno at all? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he and his people saved us. So you named a bar after him. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. I say, I I met the man. That's one of the reasons why I'm going to Gauntelgrim. Met the king himself. I think he's you a king at him. this point. Relatively speaking. Saw him from a distance. 
He touched me when he walked by and pushed me out of the way. I thought <laughs> I read. I thought he died. Yeah, he's dead. I don't think he's dead. He's dead. I don't think the he's book, dead. The uh, book, he's not, like, spoiler, he's not dead, but he's, like, dead. I've read R.A. Salvatore before. He couldn't kill a character to save his life. Yeah. He's not dead. That he doesn't bring back. But he's dead. Wolfgar's been dead, like, seven times now. Yeah, okay. Well, Bruner's dead, too. Nah, I'm pretty sure Bruner's alive. Bruner is alive, but the world thinks he's dead. I'm pretty sure he's alive. Oh, my God. No, you you fought for Bruner Battlehammer and Gaunt Grim. Yes, I know. It's my backstory. But now yeah, d- Tappy thinks you're full of shit, but... It's fair. Um, I've been carrying this around. I don't know if it matters or not. Do I still have it? Yeah. I don't know that it would signify anything that would be related to Bruner at all, but I still have my Corporal's badge. I assume that it's Gauntel Grim related. How many years in service was um, the Corporal? I wasn't in service that long. No. I thought you were. At the time that these deep gnomes came back down here, Gauntel Grim was not reestablished. Gotcha. Yeah, he took over Gauntel Grim outside of Neverwinter. That's how I ended up in Gauntel Grimm in the first place, helping defend the place against the uh, drow and mind flayers, as I recall. <laughs> <Was it your buddy? laughs> Likely excuse. I was just implicating you with drow. Um, is anybody going <laughs> to ask about the pickaxe, dude? Uh, Tappy will spend a significant amount of time sitting and listening to war stories. Okay, sure. I'll tell him whatever. I kill fitty men. <laughs> <laughs> they all have to be in kills dad's war stories. Beat him to death with the bottom half of my leg. Roll me another one. Another charisma check. This one at advantage. Well, that's a lot better. 17. Cool. Okay. Yeah, it's all going to be a lot of scary aliens type shit where we went into a dark hallway and shit ambushed us over and over and over again. By the end of the night, uh, Tappy will pull out a bottle and pour you a shot. Cheers. And you probably haven't had gut puzzler since you were in Gaunt Grip. Probably not. I can't believe he has that. That's awesome. I don't know who the fuck this guy is, but he's my new friend. I gotta have at least one in this goddamn game. Okay, Anything else for tonight? Is anybody gonna ask about pickaxe? What are you talking about? The dude with the... Uh, was pick, pick shine. A- pick shine, whatever. You're selling the contraband. Oh, right. He just the kept saying pickaxe. Rocks. I was like, yeah. what? Sorry. I, I'm not asking a priest about... Butt rocks. Criminal activity. Excuse me, Father. Do you know where I can sell my butt rock? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's a long story. <laughs> Some shiny pickaxe has got to <laughs> plunder my butt. That's how we I dwarves know, store our gold. Them, so. Yeah, he doesn't know. I'm not going to ask right now as I am apparently sharing war stories. So I killed a man. Then we got ambushed. Then I killed a man. <laughs> <laughs> Ambush. Kill a man. <laughs> Just the thought of a human fighting in the Underdark. Hey, like, how is the crowd reacting to Mulvaeus? Uh, very wary. That's why he got a disadvantage on the charisma check. <laughs> Just saunters up to the bar with a beer. You guys got some big graveyards. What's that about? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> only, only big metaphorically. I mean, the boxes are only going to be like two and a half feet long. Am I right? Graves, like burying children. <laughs> do you dig a big hole and put them all in? Or do you Just, dig a bunch of little holes? If you burn them, you probably save space. Like that's a lot of that's a lot of lowercase t's there. Like is that is that just pieces of everybody, or is that all? Is, is that a whole body per? Or? A whole body answers? per? Or like an average of a body? <laughs> like there's gonna be two torsos in one. Possibly eight, like, nine. Just seems like you couldn't get those boxes that close, but you are a tiny folk. It's really privatized the coffee making business out to the earth. You're not middle. smiling, Troy. <laughs> this is all. This is gold for you. <laughs> This is rich backstory. <laughs> I just like the idea that you could be a drow who walks around and says the most inappropriate fucking comment every time he talks to somebody. So how do you feel about spiders? <laughs> I, re- I really didn't bring Mulvaeus back just to walk you into this place. <laughs> no, but it turned out beautiful. <laughs> sure you didn't. <laughs> I find trade my overpowered character for this guy stuck in the city. <laughs> Indeed. But I got I got a magic cloak going for me, so that's nice. What previous life did you just piss everyone off in? I mean, was, it was earlier. Yeah, it was last week. That yeah, was the no, week. I mean, it was not, the first episode. Yeah, not metaphysical. It's just yesterday. Uh, okay, so if you guys aren't going to do anything else, the rest of the night will pass. You have a good time. Um, that's a good change. Yeah, I mean, even Malvaeus. Generally, everybody treats you just fine. Um, they're just really wary of you. Every time you go to grab a 
grab something, they all flinch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Chummy try to hug somebody. After spending the evening with uh, the priest, like if I were to ascribe, let's say, uh, a level of power to him, what would I put? <laughs> I feel um, like I would glean that, being, you know, a cleric as well. Uh, you know that he was fairly young. Uh, he is not super high. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is a gnome. No, I'm for the gnome. <laughs> Probably fairly similar to yourself. Okay. Um, I'm just curious. I'm amazed you answered that question. You didn't tell me to fuck off. No, that's, that's a very good question. Um, you're... If I could get this deal. Having a work. rare moment of clarity. That's a real definitive way you could find out just how strong this dude is. <laughs> just, it starts with a B and ends with our fight. Yeah. It's a game. You may have heard of it. It starts with a B and ends with a punch him in the dick. I don't know what the B word is Sir yet. kicks a lot. Okay. <laughs> is this be a good name for a, for a monk. Yeah. Oh, okay. Puss in boot dagger? Actually, I take that back. He would be lower than you. Oh. Good to know. In power level. <laughs> but looking at the druids and things like that, that you saw earlier, mm-hmm. they would have to be a higher level than you are capable of doing to do the things that they were doing. Yeah. Okay, cool. Anything else? I don't think so. I'm I'm sharing war stories. That sounds like a fun thing that Kira would enjoy. Okay. Uh, next day, what are you guys going to do? Well, I am going to be a good guy. Relatively speaking. Troy, do we need to, like, outfit your character or anything? Do you need yeah, arrows? Got. I mean, I guess suppose I could maybe uh, get some arrows or perhaps a shield. You're not dual wielding? You never know when you need a shield. It's always good to have one. Good point. If you're Link, you can surf on it. You're brave enough. <laughs> that shit. go captain america i don't know what in fourth edition i had a, a throwing shield it was that was actually a magic item that's cool you need, you need a throwing and returning shield that's the well, best yeah that's what it was then you are cap <laughs> what is that thing <laughs> um i don't know i think it'd be fun to walk around the market mm-hmm. then maybe there, you can ask about pick shine yep there is a there is a market you can go walk around just see what they have to offer we want to resupply. Um, you know what I haven't seen in this game yet? Iune stones. What are those? Nope. Little floating stones that make it so you can do things mm. or don't have to do the most important of which. They float around they're your head. A, yeah, they're an enchanted pebble or gem that f- that circle around your head. Yeah. And they give you a and special ability. Yep. One of them is you don't have to breathe. And then another one like you don't have to, or like plus something mm. to perception. The breathe one's a good one, because then you get the, the powder of coughing and sneezing. You throw it in a group of people while you're standing in the middle of it. You don't have to worry about it, because you don't breathe. And they're all flat-footed, so you just, you know. <laughs> Slitty slit. <laughs> yep. Third edition game breaker right there. Yeah. So going to the market. <laughs> Do they sell tree tokens? <laughs> what are you guys looking for? What do you guys... We have currently 305 gold. Plus a bunch of shit to sell. Yeah. I mean, you could sell stuff. That would be a good call. We need to find this pick shine. Um, I mean, we're not obligated to. I don't think, are we? We don't owe anybody to do it. It's just probably a good idea. You're not obligated to, but you have a bag of stones that you're not you going to be able use. to sell anybody else. Right. I'm trying to think if there's anything. Mm. Okay. Well, I've got here's the list of things to sell. So, what do you got? Uh, sixteen gems. That are roughly 25 gold a piece. Okay. Am I going to get 25 gold for them? Uh, roll me a charisma check. I would even give you persuasion. 18 on the charisma, or if it was a persuasion, it would be a 21. You can get 25 a piece for them. Okay, what is 16 times 25? <laughs> Knew that question was coming. 400. <laughs> I'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, one fist-sized emerald. <clears throat> Who's fist? <laughs> Doomfist. <laughs> Roll for it. What am I rolling? Oh, f- it was it. So I'm gonna die. So it'll be a 14. 14? Um, on a fist sized emerald. We'll say 400. That's 800 into the coffer so far. Making money. Okay. Um, what about that scroll for freedom of movement? We're never gonna use that. 
Why what not? It, what does it do? Gives you freedom. Of <laughs> oh, like, I mean, like, what, what, what situation would you use it in? I guess like it's for rough terrain. It's um, for rough terrain. It's for being grappled. It's for webs. Well, if I'm grappled, why would I read a fucking scroll? How would I read a scroll? You guys are fighting the denizens of a spider god. <laughs> it's true. Might want to hang on to that. <laughs> what about that chime? Who oh, had the chime? We never figured out what that did, do we? No, yeah, it opened the the box that he was in. Hey, what's up? Oh, right. Oh. It is a chime of opening. Does it open everything or just the one thing? Locks. You ring it in a crowd probably keep of that. and just blow the panties off of them. <laughs> <laughs> All the chastity belts. It, I was going to say, it's hell on chastity belts. <laughs> Do we want to hang on to all our potions? Yeah. Um, four pouches of giant toenails. No, I gave those back. <laughs> Priceless. To the right folks, yeah. Yeah, then, I mean, that's really all. Oh, did we spend... No, I'm sorry. We have a lot of gold. I was going to say, I thought we had a lot list. more than that. We have 1391 plus the 800 we just made, so... I am much more in favor of those numbers. <laughs> kind of magical items can be found. Is that all we can sell? I, feel like we... I mean, if anybody's got any extra weapons they want to get rid of, anything you've picked up and held on to personally. I don't think anything I'm ready to part with yet. Might sell the bag of fluff. Find a couple of pearls. You can look. What I, do I need a roll for something? That would be... Who's got the wand of wonder? For Fargus. Fargus. You gave it to him. You can actually see Fargus talking to a vendor about it. Oh, okay. That's fine. He wants to sell it. He can sell it. It's his wand. You gonna let him sell your wand, Matt? Don't give a shit. I got a fucking magic sword. Give me an investigation or a... Investigation or persuasion. Persuasion? Yep. Much better with persuasion. I figured it would be. It's an unnatural 20. Yes, you can find pearls. Uh, how much would they cost? Oh, pick shine. You got a 20? Yes, sir. 100 gold a piece. Okay. So why don't I buy... It? All right. So cross off 200 gold. I'll get two pearls. That gives me three that I can use to identify shit with later. That looks like fun. We should get one of those. Um, I'm going to ask around uh, if there's uh, anybody named uh, Pickshine. I'm going to do it surreptitiously, I guess. I don't know. Uh, make me another charisma check. 16. Uh, you mean the alchemist? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, he's where, over, where over there. At the, over there at that stall. Okay. Do we need? To I want to go talk to that guy. Do we need to buy more health potions, or are we good around the table? I have one. I have one. It's the one we're I have two <laughs> potions and two poison cures. We also do have. I think we have one more. No, I'm sorry. We have four more doses of the ointment. Oh, that's right. I forgot we had that. Two D eight plus two. That's pretty useful. We're probably okay for a minute. Yeah. I think we should get one of these if I'm shopping the the uh, DMG. Um, hey, Moveus, you want to go talk to this guy with me? Okay. Okay. I just don't want to go If alone. you want, if you're looking for a specific magic item, it's going to take time. I know. I'm just trying to figure out how much magic items cost in this goddamn game. Uh, I can tell you. Somebody we know actually made a chart for that. Who's that? Andy chart. Dave the Wizard. Yeah, because they do not make it easy in this version at all. Yes, I know, Mister. Can <laughs> calculate how much a magic item would cost off the top of your head. Can't anymore. I just don't get the fact that they seem to have like it's like wondrous item, uncommon, or like mundane it's... item, rare. It's like what the? Well, they made it, so uh, it more about the class capabilities. Yeah. Come on, open. I forgot to show Joe the treasure chest. And... You know, that was really cool. Uncommons run between two fifty and a thousand. Jesus. Little baby. I just think we should keep our, our eye out for a drift globe because that looks like it might be useful. A drift globe. What does that do? <laughs> it's a small sphere that uh, casts um, light or daylight. Might be really, really useful in case we get snuck up on by any drow. That's going to fuck up common, the drow in our party. Common items um, seem to be less than 200. If there are seven of them, Lucas, and I can stop seven of them at the sacrifice of making Troy blind, no offense, Troy, I'm going to make you blind. <laughs> Dude, you just turn me on, baby. That's what I do. True. Yeah. Did you see the first time I did it? Not within 60 feet, though. Uh, not 60 feet. I think it's like up to 45. This thing also uh, floats and follows you like a balloon. Hmm. So you can just kind of go, light, and then it just floats around with you. Yeah, can it fight people? No. Neither can no. you. Yeah, I can too. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, you'll tell Harrison's <laughs> Um, 
Okay, me and uh, <laughs> Momaeus that, go over to this pick shine. Like okay. Uh, hello, uh, sir. Greetings. How are you today? I am very well. How can I help you? Um, we uh, bring greetings from Baron Saltbane. And this is where Matt gets stabbed by the next NPC of the night. He looks at you funny, because you didn't say the name right. <laughs> Salt Baron. <laughs> That's salt. better. Baron Salt Baron. Shut He's up. not allowed to have a lot of it. <laughs> His wife, Mrs. Dash, insists. <laughs> Mrs. Dash. I see we have a mutual friend. We do. One that said we would be compensated if we made a certain delivery. Why don't we step inside? Oakley doakley. Mumble yeah. this. And he will take you inside his stall and start going through the bag. Uh, sitting there with the little eyepiece. Yeah. Yeah. And that'll take a little bit. Are you guys doing anything? Uh, buying a bunch of immovable rods just for shits and giggles. <laughs> I'm I'm just walking around with Kira. I, I've already purchased <laughs> what I was looking for, so. um, You rub those pearls down, right? Yeah, I got them. Man, iron stones are super rare. Mm-hmm. Get yep. the one that makes it so you can then get the powder of seasoning. Oh my god. They have one that will allow you to cancel a spell of 8th level or lower. <laughs> around your head. You can cancel up to 50 of them oh, wow. before it goes out. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, uh, yeah, pick shine. Uh, he, he goes through the bag. He says, very good, gentlemen, thank you. Uh, and plops a bag of gold. How much is the gold? Uh, there's a hundred gold in there. Well, thank you so much, sir. So, um, what, besides dropping these off, what else are you guys doing here? Oh, trying to get home. We're hoping that the next leap will be the leap home. <laughs> well, there is a call, my God. <laughs> God, I missed that shit. I'm sure they'll be rebooting it sometime in the future. Oh, that and the, uh, the one about but the... Scott Pacula plays the Dean Stockwell. That'd be interesting. Um, what does the what does the alchemist have for sale? Next question. <laughs> New plan. Bag of holding mm-hmm. filled to the brim with alchemist fire bottles, all command worded to burst at the same time. We've just invented a warhead, gentlemen. <laughs> we'll call it the Czar bomb. Go <laughs> <laughs> level part of Russia. <laughs> okay. Uh, he has various alchemical supplies, um, stuff that Lucas would be fairly interested in, but. Can I see Lucas from here? Uh, or Nexus? Yeah, probably. I do a little... Oh! Attention. <laughs> Call back. <laughs> I just that's, for you to come over. That's the hey, Harper this call is, in our games. This is my friend Alchemist Pickshine. He's really nice. This you, is Nexus. How do you do? Very Isn't good. That's so nice. <laughs> what am I, what, what am I seeing here? Okay. Uh, assorted... Alchemical paraphernalia. Okay. A little bit of everything. If there's something specific alchemical that you're wanting, you could probably find it here. I don't I don't remember everything that alchemical uh alchemists it's, could it's do. Supplies. It's so, a kit. Yeah. I mean it's I'm probably n- low on supplies, like I could just buy a kit of supplies. Yeah, I mean if they if they're specific if, it's, if your are um, it'll let you make potions. Uh, it'll let you make... I can uh, make potions. Al- yeah, I was going to say, I think acid and, fla- a- acid and alchemist fire. Antitoxin, what? acid, oh, alchemist yeah. fire, and I think there was one other thing. Yep. Um, Like, I made a bunch of alchemist fire. I still have two of them. I don't know if Kira has any left. I have an acid left. I threw okay. the fires. So I'll get some stuff that I could make a few more alchemist fire out of. Okay. I have one antitoxin as well. So I don't know how many charges that gets me, but uh, enough to spend some time crafting stuff if you want. Okay. Um, what were you doing, Kira? <coughs> I'm sorry. Just kind of looking around. I mean, ideally, the only thing that I could think of of doing is maybe enchanting my glaive, but I mean, that's probably going to be stupid expensive. So mostly, I'm just flipping through the DMG because I haven't looked at these magic items in a while. Uh, how much would a shield cost us for old uh, Mulvaeus here? Tree uh, fitty. Double price in the player's handbook. <laughs> what does like a plus one glaive cost? Oh, I don't know what it's like to enchant it. Wand of magic missiles would be sweet. Wand of secrets would be good. Wand of web would also be good. A plus one weapon marshal would cost you about 
six to eight hundred, depending on a charisma check. Yup. That's I mean, quite a have, bit of money. We have the money. It's not yeah. like we don't. Right, but we could also get a couple of wands for that price as well. So that depends on what like, the wands are on that list. I mean, they're all uncommon items, so right. All the ones that I just listed. Because like magic missile, you can't miss. It's just instantaneous damage from distance. Yep. The wand of web, you just pin people up. Yep. I'd almost rather than making it a plus one, I'd like to do what the hell. I don't know if they do that in this anymore. Can you make shit keen and stuff like you used to be able to? No. No. So 20. Only only specific named items have features like that anymore. It's really not worth it for the plus one, but to give it another ability would be cool. You now have a shield. I mean, probably need arrows. So it should knock off like gold. We should be buying Mulvaeus' stuff for him so we're not playing, paying extra. Yeah, good point. I'm going to go do some shopping for Mulvaeus. Okay. <clears throat> if I got Boots of Elvenkind, would that... Uh, can I double stamp, triple stamp? Lloyd? It would make you roll straight in heavy armor. It's a thought. Because basically you get advantage on dexterity stealth checks for moving silently. Which is something that my armor fucks with now. Yeah, otherwise I'm just going to look around see if there's got anything interesting here. Any interesting vendors selling something strange. Show me the plot. About that time, a bell starts ringing. Uh, people start shouting. Um, Show me the plot. <laughs> yeah. You fucking bastard. And that worked. <laughs> I mean, you could have. No, I mean, like, we're all just buying stuff. I know there's more to the city. We just haven't gotten there yet, yeah. so... The, the Can we retcon appropriately purchasing, purchasing things and move on with the plots? Or, uh, we'll, or yeah, we'll wash. get there. Um, everybody roll off for me. Killiam Shatner. Ooh, 15. I like that. Shaft. Mm. What are we rolling? Just rolling? A die? Three. One. I rolled a d4 you didn't specify. You're only hurting yourself. Maybe. Maybe I want to be low. <laughs> We're going to find out. You ever want to be low in D&D? 41. Okay. <laughs> Kira. <laughs> As you are walking amongst the stalls and everything like that, yeah, uh, you head to you're up near the like the northeast corner of the market. Uh huh. Uh, you see a couple of deep gnome guards walking by. This is just before the bells and the shouting and everything like that. Right. It looks like one of them just goes rigid. And then he slightly lifts up off the ground, and you see the shimmer around him as the ooze comes into sight. Oh. Uh, everybody roll for initiative. Um, ahem, Slashly Judd. 18. Did we already do Bilbo Stabbins? <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Troy? I thought I had to add it. Sorry, you kids got cough, man. It's loud. I heard it a couple times tonight. Fact. I think it was Gloomstalker that had something for initiative. Yeah, yeah that's kind of cool. Yeah, maybe I was confusing. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, Well, 2023. 20, Cody. 15. Lucas. Gentleman's 9. Okay. Um, Cody. Yeah. You go, you go now. Uh, you go now. <laughs> you are within fifteen feet of seeing this ooze. Okay. Uh, Wait, you're what did you get? Huh? What'd you get? I'm closest to it because I rolled lowest. Oh. Uh, yep. You, on the next on the next round, you guys can start making your way there. But I haven't determined how far you how far away you are yet. See, if I wanted to get in combat, I need to roll low, Josh. It was a gamble. There you go. Sometimes. Um, all right, I'm going to take a five foot step forward and slash at it with my glaive. I'm gonna divvy up the jello, baby. We're about to find out what kind of ooze this is, is whether or not it destroys my glaive or not. It is clear. Um, I'll swing on it, Jeff. Yep. 17. Come on. I'm, tr I'm trying to get to the stack stat block. Sorry. I bet a 17 hits. I'll just go ahead yes, and roll damage. Yes, I'm sure it does. Thanks. <laughs> I hope it hits. Um, how big is the thing? It is Size. large, I believe. I'm trying to get to the stat block. Fair enough. I mean, trying, because I don't think you're trying hard enough. I'm using the search on the PDF. There we go. Because that kind of decides what I do next. 
It is large. Um, uh, yes, 17 definitely hits. I'm going to try and push it. Push it? Real big. Push it. Okay. I don't think I can, but I want to try anyway. So I get the extra damage. 13 damage, Jeff. And it has to make a strength saving throw. I'm betting a nat 20 gets it. A nat 20 does get it. Um, I will take my extra attack. Okay. Assuming that my glaive isn't, like, destroyed by attacking it. I'm not seeing anything in this one that says that. Okay. 13 is my second attack. That'll hit. Um, is there anyone nearby it at the moment? Except for the guy who's stuck in it? No. Okay. And there doesn't appear to be multiples anywhere. Multiples. Like there isn't another ooze anywhere. This is just oon ooze. At this point, yes. Okay. Uh, that's another 11 damage. And then I will uh, enter my defensive stance as my bonus action. Okay. That's my turn. Lucas. Yup. No, no. We'll start, we'll start at the top of the round. You'd be at the bottom. Troy, roll me a D100. Seven. Seventy-nine. You are seventy-nine feet away. Mm. We'll round it to eighty. Well, that's not very helpful. Would have been if he'd rolled ten. <laughs> um, I'll move. I'm assuming at this point you can hear Kira yelling, and yeah, I'll move up thirty and fire my bow. Okay. Uh, seventeen. How can you fire your bow if you didn't knock an arrow? I don't need to. <laughs> Come is pretty loaded. That was one like in Zelda. It's an auto loader. He just pulls for back max in. damage of twelve. Nice. Okay. Twang. Second, second attack. It's twenty for another max damage of twelve. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> I like to imagine you took both shots at once, mm-hmm. and we just see both arrows hit the ooze mm-hmm. and just. <sighs> so now, do I see like arrows floating inside of this clear ooze now? Yes, you do. Uh... Higher low, Troy. Nah. Hi. Okay. They don't hit the gnome. I figured he was probably dead by now. Is he not dead by he now? He is not dead. He is struggling. Oh. I probably could have given my bonus. Hmm? I can give people bonuses to move. I don't know if he would be allowed to do that or if he's counted as restricted right now. He is He is definitely restricted. Okie dokie. David Cross Bowie. <laughs> you can see his skin starting to black. David Bowie knife. Blacken like burn, blacken like... Blacken like acid burn. Ooh, ooh. Who next, GF? Hang on a sec. Matt, would you do me a favor and plug this? Computer's dying. No! Give it CPR! Thump, 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 thump. Thanks, sir. Bye, Josh. Somebody be obnoxious for me. <laughs> I'm sure we will have no trouble. Thank you. Or the sword. sword. <laughs> the sword doesn't work. You want an actual character to play? Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll figure out if it organically comes up, we'll figure something out. Okay. Schroeder was complaining about not getting able to play D and D. I was like, you can come play Kira. I'll just sit in the other room and play Breath of the Wild. <laughs> I thought he had the kid on this week. Be safe. He does. He's just giving me a hard time. Okay. Be safe, man. Who next? Hmm? No, keep going. Uh, Matt, roll me a D100. 007. Uh, you are right around the corner from Kira. Down, 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 down. Uh, Judo chop it. Seven feet from it. <clears throat> I'm assuming. Slaps yep. only. Uh, yeah, well, I'm going to, uh, activate my, my pretty light up sword. I got okay. you, baby. Uh, and I'm going to hit it. Cool? Yeah, that's cool. Ooh, I'm going <laughs> to go ahead and play this little cardy card and add me a 1d8 to that hit. Your sword left. You lost your what mojo. Was your, what was your plus? Huh? Three plus six. Okay. So nine. Does that hit? Does it matter? Roll your d8. Another three. So. Yes, it absolutely would have hit. It's an ooze. It's really hard for it to dodge things. I just wasted that. Okay. So that would be a hit for eight plus five, 13 radiant damage. 13 radiant damage. Okay. Bonus, anything? No. Okay. Uh, that goes to me. Uh, McDagger. <clears throat> okay. You see 
the other guard that was walking with him over there trying to reach in and grab him, but he puts his hand in the ooze. Yeah. Uh, he takes a significant ama- amount of damage, but the guy inside is going to take even more. That was two handfuls of dice for those at home. Yep. He probably did. Uh, he is still moving. He's not out yet. Uh, Does the ooze move or take an attack towards anyone? The ooze will attack you, Kira. Does it need to move in order to do so? Oh, you were ten feet away, weren't you? Yep. Uh, Because if it does, I'm going to stop it from moving. It will have to move. Crit one. (laughs) Thank you, Nord Games. Uh, 82. Quite the repost. Make a DC 18 strength or dex save. Wow. Okay. No. No? Nope. On a failed save, take the weapon's normal damage, and the target of this attack may make an attack of opportunity against you with advantage. Okay. Give you advantage. Do you want to roll the d10, or would you like me to? No, you go ahead and roll. Okay. Uh, I take 10 damage on the attack of Riposte, and apparently you get two attacks? Yes, I get an an attack of opportunity, and then my attack on my turn. Go right ahead. I I was listening to one of those mistakes you make in D&D. Right. Attacks for opportunity, reactions, they don't happen until the thing happens. So that person has to move. So he is actually in the space next to you before you get your attack. If I'm 10 feet, yes. 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 The attack of opportunity, uh, that's a... I'm sure that's going to hit. Where is it? Plus four, so 22. You got it, dude. It takes a shit ton of acid damage. 11 points of acid damage. Okay. And then one on his turn. That's a unnatural 20. Still hits, bruh. It burns. 14 points of acid damage. Nice. Damn, what is the speed? That's a way to pull to jump through like... 38 points of damage pretty quickly. That's when the other one finishes squeezing through the cracks. Cool. Yep. It comes sw- it comes oozing around the side of the other one. So am I being flanked then, or are they sort of side by side? They're kind of side by side coming at you. Gotcha. I haven't gone yet. Yeah, I know. Have I'm you ever try- tried throwing a bunch of baking soda on a ooze? Can't say that I have. I think it would work. The other one's going to get one attack at you. Me? You're the only one standing there. I'm standing there. He's standing there. Oh, you did walk up. Uh, then it'll swing at you. Okay. Is it within five feet of me? Actually, make a dexterity save. Me? Yep. Uh, Make this, please. That's 16? 16 will work. You jump out of the way. Was that an attack or was that an absorb? That was a fall. That was, no, that was an engulf. Yeah. Uh, you were able to jump back. You're pushed back one space. Could I have used my reaction to hit it, or is it not close enough to me? You already used uh, reaction. That's not an attack. Engulf is not an attack? Nope. It is just moving into the space. You also already used your it's reaction a- for the turn. No, I didn't. Yeah, you, you did. You took on the other attack one. for opportunity. Oh. No, I you didn't. You took this defensive stance. How was that? Mm-hmm. No, the actions mm-hmm. will say melee weapon mm-hmm. attack or whatever if it's an attack. Oh. Really? And golf is not an attack. Did it's he move a- within 10 feet of me in doing this? Because then it would trigger my other thing. Yes. Does an 11 hit? An 11 does hit. Is it within 5 feet of the other ooze? Yes. Okay. Follow through? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, nice. I've been waiting for two enemies to stand together since I took this attack. <clears throat> and it would have taken the same amount of damage. It would have, it would have, I would have hit on 11 to it as well. Correct. Yes. So the ooze that attempted to engulf Matt takes 12 points of damage. And the other ooze that I've already hit a couple times takes 5 points of damage. Okay. Go, Cody. Oh, it's my turn? It is. I haven't gone yet. That's because you rolled a 9. He went... Did you not go earlier? He went in the first round because he was there. This is only the second round of combat and you haven't had an opportunity to be in the round yet, I think is what Jeff is trying to say. Yes. I don't understand. We haven't... The first round, the only ones who acted were the Ooze and Cody. Because we were side by side. Then you were all alerted to the combat, so then he went to the top of the round. Yep. Where you rolled a gentleman's nine. We are currently on, like, 13. Yep. 
So when did these two get in? Higher than 13. At, yes. 23, 18. He rolled a 90. He rolled a 7. They jumped into combat. Then I came to me. I haven't rolled to see how far away I am or anything. Because it's not I been know. your turn yet. It's not yet. been your turn yet. Okay. <laughs> just tell me when I can play. You're after Cody. <laughs> um, Cody just gets 4,000 attacks now. Yep. That's kind of how it rolls. Uh, I think I'll take my second win. For starters, Jeff. Okay. Uh, 11. So that helps. I'm back in the 20s now of hit points, which is a nice place to be. Uh, I probably can't tell injury on how much damage has been done, right? Nope. I'm going to keep hitting the one that tr- Troy and I have already been hitting. Yep. So I'll take my first attack. Okay. Uh, 12 hits. Yes, it does. I will do my slashing again, my sweeping attack. So the one I've been hitting takes 11 points of damage, and the other one takes 6 points of damage. Okay. Extra attack. 13 hits. At the initial one? Yes. Yes. Uh, Same thing. I'm just going to use as much damage as I can. So uh, that one takes 9, and the one that tried to engulf Matt takes 3. The first one dissolves. That makes me feel a little better about my position. Because I can take action surge to get one more action, right? You get one more action, two attacks. Yeah, we'll do that. Action surge. Gonna assume a 25 hits. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck your oozes. Um, uh, four damage. Crit 20, Jeff. I've been waiting for him to put two things in a row forever. <clears throat> uh, nave to chops, quadruple damage. Would you like modifier once, or do you want modifier in each of those? No, modifier once. Okay. Wow. What did you do on the... This is your second attack on the... Okay, yes. what was the damage on the first one? Because I think I missed that. Six, I believe. That's a paltry 60 damage on quadruple damage, because I rolled three of the four under four. There's three past enough to kill it. I got a 53. And my shit just fell off the plane. Why'd you throw your shit? I was gonna say, God, just get shitty about it. God. Call me the Ooze Master. And I'm glad it didn't dissolve my weapon because that would have been a much bigger problem. (laughs) I just make a new one. I got mending. I get that, but then I can't do anything because then I swipe and it dissolves the head and then I'm just kind of poking it with a stick that keeps getting shorter. <laughs> uh, you actually kill it before the gnome is dead? How uh, about you help him this time? Yeah, we're going to heal that guy. Hey, buddy. Hey, this will only take a minute. Cure wounds. Okay. Cure wounds. Whatever. D1. Two. Roll it. I mean, what is it? 1D8? I don't even remember. Uh, level 1 is 1d8 plus wisdom. Uh, 6. Okay. I mean, you've at least many, stabilized him look? and stuff. He's pretty rough. That's better. Uh, 12. Okay, so 18 total points 18. total. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's he's looking quite a bit better. He's, okay, hey. You, you go home and rest. Drink a lot of fluid. You gotta repair your skin. <laughs> okay, uh... Everybody make me a group charisma check. Everybody clap your uh, hands. Take advantage on it. Nineteen. Fourteen. What'd you get? Five. Here, do that. See if we don't fuck up. I can't take it with me. Fifteen. Seven. <laughs> Guidance? <laughs> okay. Uh, the er, everybody's cheering you on. Excellent job, Kira the Ooze Slayer. Nexus yeah. just walks up and goes, "What happened here?" <laughs> you should. <laughs> you, should walk, you walk around the corner with like cotton candy. <laughs> no, what you need to do is like on Alien versus Predator. You need to dip the end of your glaive in the acid and then put a mark on your face. <laughs> well, I like the idea a that warrior like warrior rune. I mean, no, I lost like. 75% of my health there or something. Like, I love the idea that Kira's just, like, just fucking blackened and face is all tore up with acid, hair's all akimbo. She's like, <laughs> the ooze is just melted into the ground, and he's just like, nah. What's up? 
her, her no, he, her hit no he came he came running around the corner and just started throwing eldritch blasts at the ground where it was <laughs> like it's okay i got it <laughs> i just want to know what the visual of that was because i made like 11 attacks in six seconds the yeah, round takes six seconds just... end over end <sighs> You put a sword in your butt, <laughs> held two swords, and then spun. What? Just, it's a fucking, uh, what is that? Jackhammer? No, and it's not Virtua Fighter. It's not Street Fighter. It's a uh, oh, killer instinct. game. No. Mortal Kombat. No. But thank you for naming Yeehaw, most Street of them. Street Fighter 2. Primal Rage. <laughs> Torah. Primal Rage. Thank you. Clay Fighter. I used to love that game. Okay. Oh, no, it's the other fighter. Because there is actually someone who fights Tekken. with a pole arm. Um, but right you showed in Mortal Kombat does Soul Calibur because you that's what I'm thinking. Oh, of. in Soul Calibur, there's someone who Dragon fights Ball with Z, a staff. Budokai. And if you <laughs> Capcom versus Marvel, <laughs> Smash Brothers, that's what I'm thinking. why did I think of that one? Pikachu? That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, what was the one where stick? you the clay figures? I said clay, clay, clay fighter. Oh, did you say that? I watched the angry video game narrative of that one. It was fun. So we killed Ooze. You did kill an ooze. Two of them, in fact. And I yeah. helped. <laughs> uh, the guards, thank you. They say that, you know, if if you guys are interested in helping out with, with, with some more of this, you should talk to the, the, to the digger Maddox. You should patch the cracks in these walls. We need to be careful with how we say that. The Appomattox. Got it. <laughs> and scene. Our title track, Elders, is brought to you by Sleep for the Weary off their debut album, Nocturnes. Learn more about Sleep for the Weary at sleepfortheweary.com or by following the link on our homepage at rancorsbrothel.com. Enjoy the cards used during the podcast? Check out those and many other excellent Nord Games products at nordgamesllc.com. Tell them the Rancor's Brothel sent you. Want to support the podcast? Donate to the cause at patreon.com slash rancors underscore brothel. Patrons receive exclusive content, the opportunity to play games with us, the chance to win unique prizes, and more. And don't forget to join in the conversation on Facebook by following the Rancor's Brothel and joining the group, Fans of the Rancor's Brothel. Follow us on Twitter at at rancors underscore brothel and email your comments and suggestions to between two crits at gmail.com. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Most of all, keep circulating the tapes. Much love, listeners. You live through pain.